Hey guys, welcome back to Rule 16. I am your host, Javon. And today we're doing a one piece test for Resident Evil 7. This is being run on my Intel Core i5 7200U with Intel ASC 620 graphics and 8 gigabytes of RAM. And look at it right now. This is the game running at its, well, almost its highest settings. If shadows are very low because screw shadows, ain't nobody got time for shadows. But the game seems to be running quite nicely right now. A lot of shimmering in this game. There is a lot of shimmering in this game. No matter what I do, not too sure about that. <laughs> but there is a lot of it. Uh, yeah, this is the game running at its height, 768p. It's giving me a great frame rate right now. 18 FPS. I consider 15 to be the lowest. Literally, I, I struggle with 15 the most. But if this can run at, like this at its highest resolution, what's going to happen when I, I lower it down? I have a lot of custom resolution. So let's go and test out some things now and see what happens. Let's see. I got... See what I meant? I'm not going to turn off any of these here right now. I'm going to keep on all of these. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't shadows. Ain't nobody got time for that. But I'm going to turn off some of I'm going to just lower down my resolution. Let's see what happens. What's going to happen? How low should I go? 720p doesn't really change anything. So I'm going to drop it down to 960 by 540. And let's hope with that. Shall we? And I can get 30 FPS just like that. If that resolution, do you understand if that resolution, 30 FPS is achievable? Taking the mind fraps takes off like 3 FPS. Keep that in mind and you already, even with everything on high, basically everything on high, you can get 30 FPS. If you were to, to turn off some of these settings, the game would run higher. I like making it very simple and easy for you guys. Because ain't nobody got time for all this long drawn out crap. The game can run 720p. Ah, uh, Let's turn off all the settings and see if it really improves anything. Hey, oh god, Baker guy. I can't to get rid of the shimmering, but can't remember how at this point, so I won't. <laughs> but let's turn off everything else and see what happens. How about off? How about that? Just turn off everything and see what happens. Yikes. Didn't even need to. T didn't even need to touch. Oh, 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 no, no, keep that on. Didn't even need to touch my resolution scaling. Pretty awesome to be honest with you. Resolution scaling is the last thing. You just touch that and boom. Give me some extra frames. Not many, which is unfortunate, but it gave me some extra frames. The game is playable. 30 FPS, guys. We live in the dream now. And like I said, test test sir. What is that? Whoa. Whoa. Birds. Hate the crows, man. Hate the crows. Never found it up. What the hell? <laughs> This is crazy stuff, man. Never fan of the crows. But let's keep it variable. If you just kept the game at 30 FPS, I'm pretty sure it would stay at the 30. It seems to be quite good there. So, in times of that Resident Evil that's coming out next year may be very well playable. But just to, just for context here now. I'll see what happens when you draw off resolution skill in case you don't know. It'll make your game look like crap, but the game will become much more playable. Look at that. Bang. 48 FPS. Hello. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys a like, comment, just to stick around for more bit content. Obviously, I decided to check outside because outside would be more hectic than inside would be. At least for right now. The game is quite playable. I'll see you guys next time then. If you hope you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stick around for more of the content. Leave a comment down below again. Let you see me stress test next. I do them all. I'll see you guys.